Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Never Lost Adventures. We have a little gear review for you for you guys. We've had these chairs for a while, and uh, so we've, we've gone through quite a few camping trips and we've done a lot with them. And so we just wanted to share with you what our opinions were on them. So we have a lot of pros and we have a few cons. First of all, the pros, they're super comfortable. The thing that they pride themselves on is the auto recline if you will <clears throat> so all i have to do is lean back and i'm reclining so this one i prefer this chair without the headrest there actually is a headrest and we'll we'll show you in a minute which actually is is great but i i like mine without it just a little more control but if i was to you know take a nap or whatever which you could definitely do or they're called the stargazers hence put your headrest lean all the way back and lose your sunglasses and watch the stars. So the only th other thing, um, they're, they're really sturdy, they're really strong. This like, it's, it's, a, it's almost like a metal, but it's not. It's a gnarly mesh, mesh netting. They're really reinforced, uh, super durable and really sturdy. The posts, nice aluminum, really thick. The ball ends, really, really stable. Uh, and even on un uneven ground, they still kind of, stabilize themselves which which we like all right so here is what the poles look like just by themselves it's pretty light um, the setting up it's easy so like I can pretty much just like hold it by the middle it has these really nice robust like that's a really strong bunge bungee right there and then it just fits together that easy so like I said setup is super simple most of the time and then it just sets just like that then the chair part on you have these handy little clasps and it tells you which is the top so that's pretty cool it has this little like pinch action and then it just locks in place just like so and then you're set sweet good to go now the back is hard to, for me to put up so i always have to ask for help when i do so but these just fit right in there i can't ever get them in it's oh i got it in that's awesome but yeah usually i have to ask for help because it's it's just too hard for me to do anyways for demonstration purposes um so it does have a headrest Headrest comes off, you can adjust it, and it sticks on like that. It's just that easy, it's just that quick. Setup is a dream. As far as, I think that's most of the pros. As far as the cons, there are a few cons. And for us personally, they're big cons. So getting in and out, it does say hold here to stand in and out, but it is still kind of sketchy. So for me, like my arms get in the way and you have to like do that whole number. I mean, I'm on uneven ground so I could just literally stand up, but to get in it, you almost fall backwards. And so that is, I don't like that. This is all in the way for my elbows. And even like just kind of sitting here, as opposed to more of an open chair, like I feel crunched in. And so you have to lean back. So that is a con, getting in and out of it. I will show you guys what I have done more than once, quite embarrassingly, but it gets a good laugh, but I didn't do it on purpose. So you go to go to sit down like this, and you're like that. If you accidentally are a klutz, and you get the front edge, and you don't get your butt all the way to the back, and you don't use the hold here to sit and stand like you should, then it's really easy to fall down, and it gets a really good laugh. You want to be sure you sit all the way to the back. Make sure I don't fall back. So yeah, so not too bad. And you can adjust the headrest, it's pretty good. My back support's good, lumbar is pretty good. So yeah, all in all, not too bad. But again, like this number, you know, especially if you're a bigger guy, I'm a, I'm a bigger person, I'm a little guy, so I can kind of 
pretty good, but there's other chairs that have the armrest without this post right here, and I just feel more open to relax. I can't set my arms here really, I mean ish. Um, so since we're here, this pocket's great. You can put your uh, fallen dusty sunglasses back in there. <laughs> but is the, uh, the cup holder. So they claim it's a non-spill cup holder, but I, we disagree with that. It is already pushing this way. And if you do have a cup in there, it makes this just squeeze in even more. So imagine, I don't want to crush my sunglasses. I'm a dude, so I want to spread my legs a little more and I want my cup in there. It's just not going to work. It's just, it doesn't work. And if it's a big cup and an open cup, it's going to spill on you if it's full. So maybe a beer, a closed bottle, or something with a lid that's not filled at the top, maybe. So here's the other thing. This is our biggest con. And Nemo, if you watch this, like we love you, we love all your product. But this is one that I, especially me, I can't stand. Being super efficient, um, understanding uh, ergonomics and, and, you know, packing stuff. I'm good with like Tetris, packing things away, all that kind of stuff. I have tried so many ways to pack this thing up and I still can't get it right. And I don't know what it is and it takes too long. So what I was saying, if you're doing, you know, a one, uh, you know, one week camping and you're going to put them up and leave them up, it's great. But if you do hop and pops with camping or, you know, we can't really take these backpacking, they're too heavy, um, then it's, it's not efficient at all. Now I will say that these little clasps are clever. They're just push and pull. Super cool. That's genius. So it locks into place like so. So that is genius. Now this is where I've tried many different ways of holding this in and turning this in. And I wish I really would have paid attention when we first bought them, how they were packed in there and, and how I pulled them out. But these don't fit in here two at a time. So I feel like, and there, there is this, but it always comes out. This is the elastic band. So I feel like it needs to be up higher a little more because even though you stick them in there, they'll just pop out. Yeah, see, I mean, it's, and once you start folding and moving it, they're just gonna slide out. So already, it's just like a pain in the butt. As you can see, the posts just barely even want to fit in the bag. So you want to keep what I found is just like, get your post in there, then start putting the rest of your material on top and fold the handles down over it. And then <clears throat> this piece I've been keeping like so, and then you can kind of pull that up and it makes it a little easier. But this kind of just folds on top of that. But if you try to get this whole chair in here before you get the supports it's not it's just not gonna work so as you can see I mean this bag is already 
out of line. Like, I think if they would have made this bag like even an inch bigger, I think it would have been a lot easier. So, that's that. I do like the dual carrying handles. That's pretty cool. Um, the weight, pretty good. Seven pounds, not too bad. But that is a good size uh, unit there. So, compared to other chairs that are much faster, more efficient, and smaller, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the price and um, inefficiency of, of putting it away. So, we just wanted to demonstrate this, this for you guys. So, for a chair that's over $200, I think it's a little much. One, just, it's, it's, it is robust. Uh, we've had them for over a year and we've used them quite a few times. I think it's mainly just the bag, the storage unit, that is the complicated part that just makes me not want to bring them at all. After we bought them, we, this is the newer one that actually came with the foldable backrest, as you guys have seen. The earlier version had no backrest, and I find that I use mine without the backrest more often than not. <clears throat> so what we wanted to de demonstrate is our first version. Our, these are our backpacking ones, and there's other really good companies that also sell this type of chair for over $100, but these are a good old Big Five version for, I think, about $20. So here's to demonstrate one, super compact. I think this is only three pounds instead of seven. You can see the size difference. And we've had these for a long time also. This is my favorite part. Pretty simple. Put in the tops first. This is kind of a complicated part, but again, a little finesse. And over time, it, it does stretch out a little bit, but this pocket is pretty strong too. It's just getting that right technique. And I'm sure you guys have all seen this type of chair before. You know, no cup holders, none of that, but usually if you're sitting and drinking coffee or your favorite beverage, you're, it's in your hand anyways, or stick it on the ground. So don't need a cup holder, my arms are open, and I can sit up and eat. <clears throat> I'm comfortable, or I can just lounge back. So, Nemo, we love you. If you could just maybe make your bag a little bit bigger, and kind of the foundation is a little cumbersome when you go to load it back up and tear it down. It's almost like you need a surface to put it on, because that, I think it's inch and a quarter, uh, tube is just really it's really big so that's our uh, unbiased real review all right you guys thank you so much for watching our gear review as always don't forget to like please subscribe if you love us and we will keep you tuned in to more adventures gear reviews etc